For a team in a program that had been waiting more than three decades to celebrate a football championship, order and tradition were restored on a historic day in Baltimore. I'm Mark Gray at Spring Football Day, where the orange and blue game means the defense of the MEAC championship begins with the pomp and circumstance of winning a championship, Morgan State got down to the business of defending their MEAC championship with the annual spring football game. But it also marked an opportunity for the Bears to reestablish the tradition of football excellence as they wear the bullseye of the team who represented in the FCS playoffs last year. Yeah, I think last year, we, we built a great foundation, a great, great base, and we just got to keep building on it. We're not going to do anything different than we have, you know, uh, in the past, you know, you know, last year. The whole thing of our student success, student athlete success, is that uh, that's at the heart of our mission. And this return to greatness initiative that we have, this is a manifestation of it, and this is how the college sports and the student athlete experience, this is what kids come to school to play ball for. If there's one area that Morgan is looking to get better at if they're going to compete for a championship this year, it's in the offensive line. Where the first unit is solid, there isn't a great deal of depth. And over the next few months before the start of summer training camp, Coach Lee Hall and his staff expect to get out and get after it and try to replenish the depth. We lose a, a lot, a lot of leadership on the offensive line. That's where it starts up front, you know, in the, in the trenches. So we're going to be very, very young there. So, but I think those guys came along at, through the course of the spring and got gotten better. Skill position players figure to be one of the places where Morgan is deepest, and they have a number of different transfers who come in and give them big play capability. Um, running backs are capable of doing the job. You know, everybody knows about Lamont and Lamont Brown and Herb Walker, but um, Orlando Johnson, you know, number one there is, is doing a great job, and right now he's had the best spring out of all the running backs. So for many years, there was hope that sprang eternal here in Baltimore, but hope turned into realization in 2000. 2014. And the question now becomes, can Morgan remain consistent? Perhaps not as MEAC champions every year, but certainly as a contender. And the road trip to Baltimore no longer is a vacation. You got to tighten up the chin straps and get ready to get after it each and every time you step on the field against Lee Hall's Bears. Reporting for Morgan State University, I'm Mark Gray for Sports Groove TV. Stand up!